and we voted, and it was really startling. Um, you know, you're watching these hurricanes now, and it's really, it's hard, especially while promoting this movie, not to, not to feel Mother Nature's rage, wrath. <laughs> That's right. Mother Nature is sending the hurricanes because she's angry at America for voting for Trump. It's just really confusing. Yeah, you can say that again. It's just really confusing. Who else is blaming supernatural forces for sending hurricanes to punish the evildoers? Oh look, it's crazy evangelical right-wing Christians. Difference is, they'll be scorned and ridiculed by the left, with good reason by the way, whereas Lawrence will be given a free pass. Whenever right-wingers blame natural disasters on gays, the Huffington Post freaks out. What did the Huffington Post have to say about Jennifer Lawrence's bizarre comments? Jennifer Lawrence is sheer perfection in this silver gown. <sighs> Nothing. When Pat Robertson said hurricanes were God's payback for America accepting homosexuality, he was condemned by Americans United for using tragedy to promote his political agenda. Will anyone condemn Jennifer Lawrence for using tragedy to promote her political agenda? Yeah, don't hold your breath. Who else shares Lawrence's view that hurricanes are divine retribution? And it's ISIS. Irma is very powerful and most destructive hurricane will hit USA in a few hours. This is power of our... So evangelicals say it's punishment for the gays, ISIS says it's punishment for the infidels, and Jennifer Lawrence says it's punishment for the Trump supporters. Mother Nature's... Rage... Wrath. What's the connection? Oh yeah, they're all friggin' crazy. But many on the left have embraced God's wrath. Wrath. With the consolation that it will mainly impact Trump supporters. Well, at least Irma is gonna wipe out the old Trump supporters in Florida. I hope Irma leaves all these Trump supporters homeless and humble their asses. We should round up all the Trump supporters and leave them directly in Hurricane Irma's path. It's scary. Um, you know, it, it's this new language that's forming. It's, I, I don't even recognize it. What new language? It's... Um... You talked about the new language where all you hysterical anti-Trump lunatics are almost literally saying the same thing as ISIS. Yeah, that new language. Do you find President Trump confusing? I don't find him confusing. I, I think I know exactly what he is. Literally Hitler. An impotent howl of rage. You know, it's just, it's like a helpless howl to the moon. The fuck? Howl to the moon. She's a wolf in mouse clothing. Ah! <laughs> and there's certainly a sort of end of days feeling about it. There are many people in America who would say, you know, perhaps it's truer there at the moment than anywhere else. End of days? Who's this idiot? Did I see her the other day in the street holding a placard? Oh no, she's a news reporter for Channel 4. Oh yeah, and one final thing, Jennifer. All those Muslim refugees you love so much. Yeah, not taking any in, have you? I mean, come on, at least Clooney's put his mansions where his mouth is. Guess there's just no room at your $8 million gated palace. There's a lot of excitement about the idea you might do something with Amy Schumer. Yes. Um, why do you think people are so excited about that? Do you think there's still this idea that actually women can't be funny. Women can't be funny? Oh, women can be funny. And Jennifer Lawrence is a shining example of that. Mother Nature's... Rage. It's just really confusing. <laughs>